Welcome to Scoop Canada, your source for independent and critical news. Today, we're diving deep into a story of political change, generational challenges, and a writing that could symbolize a turning point in Canadian politics, Aurora, Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. A region that's become a battleground of ideologies and a reflection of the wider Canadian political landscape. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe for more insightful videos. If you support independent news tailored to conservative perspectives, consider donating to our channel. Check the link in the description to keep this channel thriving. Let's start with a backdrop. In the 2021 federal election, the Liberals regained this writing, marking a significant shift. But the story here is more than just about party colors changing on the map. It's about the voices of a generation feeling unheard and unrepresented. The core of the discontent. Economic mobility, housing crises, and a sense of a stolen future. Young Canadians, particularly millennials, are expressing deep concerns about their ability to own homes, start families, and build lives in their communities. The question becomes, has the Trudeau government really addressed these issues? Statistics and trends paint a challenging picture. Housing prices skyrocketing, job insecurity, and the cost of living outpacing income growth. All under the watch of a government that promised change and progress. Justin Trudeau's liberals came to power with a message of hope and forward thinking. But critics argue that the reality has been different, especially for younger Canadians. Policies that seem to favor the wealthy elite, a housing market that's increasingly out of reach, and economic decisions that some feel are mortgaging the future of the next generation. There's a growing call for change. This brings us to the present and the future. The Conservative Party, with new voices and fresh perspectives, is seeking to challenge the status quo in Ottawa. And it's happening right here in Aurora, Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. This is not just a political shift, but a reflection of the evolving sentiments of the electorate, particularly the younger demographic. The writing has become a microcosm of national debates on affordability, quality of life, and responsible governance. With these new candidates, the Conservative Party is positioning itself not just as an opposition, but as a beacon of hope for those disillusioned by current policies. As we move towards the next election, the eyes of many are on this writing. Will it be a barometer for the national mood? Will the Conservatives succeed in bringing generational change to Ottawa? Only time will tell. That's it for today's deep dive. Remember, your support keeps independent journalism like ours alive. Consider donating to our channel, link in the description. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more critical and independent news.